Howdy doody gamers, it's me, Coward357, back with another MS Paint time. It's Craig this time. I'm here with my friend Tavon. He's pretty cool. I'm gonna actually adjust the. Yeah, there we go. Because now. Hi, Tavon. Hello, Andrew. You're pretty cool. You're pretty cool. No, you're pretty cool. Okay, so you see the thing, right? By the way, doing annotations might adjust thing once- Oh wait, no, I gotta do the zoom. By the way, an doing annotations will make it so that thing- uh, So that uh, it shows up, but it also will do it at a slightly more lag, so it's probably important to not do that. Howdy, friend. You ready, friend? Luckily, this is just MS Paint. So I'm gonna have to grab some colors that I want to use. You ready for this? Also, this is probably going to be a lot simpler than than Claren, because one, this is a lot earlier design. I'm actually going to turn down the music that I'm using to have as background music, right? Because I'm like, if I bought a remix that's chill and probably good for doing art with... So I'm going to, yeah, size 30, so I need to now go with... Ready? So I'm going to go with... A very simple in colors. I mean, of course, you gotta have your black, your white. I'm actually gonna make one background behind. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I need to get rid of the paintbrush for now. I do this. One background behind. Specifically, the background behind is gonna be green, because that's just, you know... Oh, wait, no, Crag's green, so this time it'll be heckin' a color that we're not using, so red. Okay, that's a little bright, so I might go with blue instead. Yeah, okay, and there's no blue in Craig, so it makes my life ten times easier. So you ready, friend? To experience the process of glorious art. <laughs> so I'm going to size 30, I'm going to grab a black, a white, a dark green, I guess, because we have one of those as crag. That's not the right color green that I'm looking for. You know, I'm just gonna grab one green from here, and if it's okay, that's not- okay, give me a second. Gotta grab green from here. Yeah, specifically there, I guess. Yeah, and then I go like this. I go do this. Now I've got the green, and I'm gonna grab my fourth, and uh, 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 fourth and fifth colors because I'm limiting myself this time to five instead of eight with Claren because Claren's like a lot more complicated anyways. Actually no, uh yeah, grab the yellow. Yeah. By the way, Tavon. Hello. Be prepared for some really cool stuff once it gets farther in. Cause as you may know from last time, I actually did okay ish. I'm gonna grab that one because it's like that. So I'm limiting myself to six instead of eight. By the way, six was my original anyway, so whatever, right? <laughs> so I grab this one, which is... Or should I grab a... Yeah, that one. Because I can't do shading in this, so I'm stuck with whatever colors I've got, right? So I grab this, I do this. And... I'm just going to grab all of these, actually, so I have them. I'm just going to move them over. A little bit that way, I actually can do stuff. So you ready, friend? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, time to start the process. So I usually start off with the black. So I'm gonna grab the black over here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna set my font, uh, my my brush width, and I cannot change my brush width. There, are, there are a couple rules to this. I can only use the colors that I've laid out unless I find some weird color that I didn't know existed in the guy, right? Uh, I can also uh, only uh, uh, use the paintbrush tool and the fill bucket tool because fill bucket just makes it so I don't have to spend like an hour coloring in, uh, and then the uh, and then I have to have it so anti-aliasing is off so that it doesn't automatically add texture. That's really the only rules, and I'm using my mouse so that makes it a lot less accurate. Thing about Craig is you don't really have to be too accurate. You just have to. Follow the line, although that's a little bit of a wonk. I can also only do one undo per major line. 
or per minor line. Like, if it, it, I can only undo a thing once, so if I go over that line again, I can't undo it. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna let go so that I can actually continue. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, I can undo that. Cool. Uh, yep. Okay. Now we go with the first spike. That is a terrible spike. That is probably worse, but I already used up my undo, so, you know, frick me then. How you doing, buddy? That's good. Oh, God. Okay, I think I'm going to zoom in slightly so I can actually see stuff better. Come on, okay. I'm going to take off my hoodie because it really doesn't matter and it's already kind of warm, so whatever. So I move that out of the way. Ah! Cool. Ready? Ready to experience the probable failure of me trying to draw my uh, my main and my my rivals of Aether main. Okay, we do this. So, what are you seeing on yours? Your crap. Yep. Yes. And your outline right now. Yep. So you're not like behind, so that's good. Yeah, Zoom's making it laggier, so it's a little, uh, so my mouse is a little more wobbly, but that just makes it slightly funnier later on. Occasionally I check, but I cannot undo things after I've checked what they look like, so it's a worthy risk. Like, MS painting a character uh, through the power of tracing is a lot less dangerous than MS painting otherwise. I'm gonna check how it's looking. Okay! Not bad, not bad. Uh, not good, but not bad. I'm actually gonna go get the white now and do this. Because I kind of want to just do that and that. Because, you know. Yeah. Okay, and now we continue on the path of the tracer. Go like that, and like that. Oh boy, I'm reaching towards the bottom of my mouse pad. I'm gonna have to probably get off the mouse real soon. Okay, mouse is now refreshed towards the middle of the mouse pad, so now I can actually move better. Nice. Because the thing is, I'm trying to do this quickly, because, you know, that just makes it sloppier, and that sometimes makes it better for MS Paint purposes. Especially because, as you may know, MS Paint is infamous for its lack of tools, and with a thing like Paint.net with so many tools, I'm depriving myself of the tools that I'm used to using to make some funny haha -ha MS Paint. Uh, do this. Yeah, and that, and this. Wow, that is a very bold children wrestle. Dude, dude, Craig is a buff beetle, man. He's thick. <laughs> He's actually not looking too bad yet, although Lord knows it's going to get worse as it goes. <laughs> Because that's just how MS Paint art works when it comes to me. I mean, like, when I made my logo using MS Paint itself, uh, you, pr you probably remember the fact that I use it all the time now. Because I just find it funny as heck. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's actually not going too bad yet. I'm gonna see how it's look how the trace is looking. Let's see how this is looking. Oh goodness. <laughs> I mean that's actually not bad though. Like look at that shit. <laughs> okay. So we go like this. I'm gonna go like this, and this. 
And that. So Tavon, what do you think so far? Mm, pretty good. Nice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness, that was a wobble. What is this melee? <laughs> That's a, that's a, that's, ah, okay, I can undo that one, because that was a pretty horrendous, grab that, do that, and to do that, okay, and now we do second arm, I think we're almost done with the black soon, which is good, because once we're done with the, oh, okay, thank goodness. <laughs> But yeah, once we're done with the black, it's it's really easy because then I just have to make sure certain things that I haven't already done uh, get done, and then I just have to make sure everything else is good. Also, I I'm like doing this makes me really appreciate how good the art in Rivals is. I'm like, he's got beans for fingers, man. <laughs> he's got bean finger. Fingy. <laughs> But yeah, I do this, easy enough, let's do that and that, talk a buck, yeah. This is... Taco Baco. Okay, and then I do the sand that's down here. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna go to the bottom of my mouse pad again, aren't I? Here we go. It's a me, a Mario, and more Pata uh, Italian than pastrami. <laughs> what? What? How long did it take you to make the Claren? Well, the Claren took a lot longer than. Uh, I I'm pretty sure it's going to take longer. Uh, the Claren t took a lot longer than this one. Claren took about 20, 30 minutes. Like 25 ish. And uh, basically. This one's taking a lot less. Also, I'm gonna see what it looks like so far, see what I'm missing? Okay, yeah, I'm missing the shell and some other stuff, so... Time to put in the shell, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, uh, this is, uh, uh for reference, Claren's, uh, black lining, uh, took a lot longer. Or, or at least a decent amount, and, like... Claren had a lot more colors, and a lot of stuff. It, yeah. Uh, let me see, anything else that I'm missing? I'm gonna check. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm missing this, so I'm gonna do that now. And then I'm gonna check whatever the heck else I'm missing. Ah, uh, that was bad, but that's fine. Because bad's kind of part of this thing's job. So, let's see what we got. Um, we're missing the leg, and I think we're missing a little bit of other stuff. So... We get the leg. Yeah, get the horn on the leg. Yep, and then we get this. Oh, goodness. This is not going as smoothly as I'd like it to, but I'm just going to keep it the way that it's currently going because it's funnier. Okay, um, I think the black lining is pretty much done. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty good. I cover that. Okay, um, let me make sure there's no gaps in the parts that I need to color. And then once I'm done making sure of that, then I think I can actually start coloring. So, I don't really see anything that's go gone any different. So I bring in the color again and I start bringing in my colors. So I grab the green and I bring in the fist. And that. 
shoulder thing, and that thing, and this thing. Oh boy, this is already looking glorious. <laughs> Thank god for MS Paint power. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> this is so cursed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Shell time, I guess. So we grab this. Yeah, Craig's gonna take a lot less than Claren did. Mostly because Claren had so much going on in her design and Craig doesn't have as much. Ah, notifications. Thank goodness. Where would I be without those? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. This is this is great. Okay. Okay. Also, did I finish getting the sand fully? I think I might have missed a line or two in the sand. No, I think I got all the lines in the sand. That's good. Yeah, I definitely got all the lines in the sand, meaning that it's time to color in the sand, because I just think I... No, I haven't yet. I have to finish up the, the shell. Duck. Duck. Actually, I'm going to need a slightly darker brown for that, so... Cool, I'm actually gonna uh, do what I said that I might do if necessary, also known as add one extra color, which is a darker brown, because it'll just make it look slightly better and it won't look absolute garbage. Because there's a difference between funny ha ha ha, he looks like he's made in Emma's paint, and funny ha ha, oh it's garbo. You know what I mean? So we grab that, we do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then we do this one again, because we need to do this. Okay. And then we grab the sand-colored one, and we grab color in the sand. Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. This is really good. Okay, uh, and then we grab the white so we can color in the uh, chest and the leg stuff that I missed and the arm horns and then we grab the leg color so I can use that on that and am I missing anything? Oh! <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got without it. Are we, okay, yeah, I forgot to color in the eye and I do need to color that in, so... I'm close though, so that's good. Let's see. Oh, uh, size 5, obviously. Actually, this is gonna be size 2, because I need this one to be small, because I actually have to add the gap. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Grab the black. For the first time ever, I'm actually erasing something because it doesn't actually, like, it's so out there that it really doesn't fit. Although, wait, does it? I need to know. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so that means that I have to grab this and I have to fill bucket that section. And then I have to grab the yellow. And I fill bucket the eye. And I think that's pretty much it. Is that pretty much it? I think. I, uh, let's see. So, let's see what it looks like without. Ah. So, this is what it looked like before. And then we take that layer out, we bring in the new layer, and this is... <laughs> oh my god, it looks so bad, but it's so good at the same time. Look at how good it is. Look at how good bad. This is the... this is... <laughs> oh my god. You know... I think I have a screenshot I need to put in fit, fit, fitting wise. Uh, give me a second. I need to go to my rival screenshots because I know that I have one. 
luckily you're still seeing this on the zoom, so it's fine, right? So I need to go find Craig, because I know that I have a... Because, I mean, I didn't put him into the thumbnail uh, until after I stopped the recording last time. So I'm going to put him in... Oh, boy, this is... Ooh, this is an interesting challenge. Okay. So I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to... You ready for this, Tavon? You ready to see why I'm saying it's an interesting challenge? Yeah. So I grab this. I go, okay. I like this. I've got to make color alts. <laughs> luckily, luckily, that's really easy for me to do. You know why? Why? So first off, first thing I do is I take this off because I'm done with the colors now. And now I control A, control C, new layer, control V. I need to make him slightly bigger so he fits in. And then I bring him back a bit. That's almost perfect. Yes. Okay, so we grab that. There we go. So grab this one. Now we go new layer, which is going to be in front. I mean, yeah, behind. So we grab, paste it again, make it bigger again. And then I do this, which is going to be adjustments, hue and sat, and I make it blue. So I t change, oh that's, that's the dark one, so I have to do this, saturation, no, hue. Can I make a blue? That's... That's what some people would call not bad. Okay. So we grab that one. And then we grab the one that'll go behind. And we resize it one more time. So Tavon. Was this a cool experience for you? Give me a second, I need to finish this up. Once I'm done with this, I'll save it, and I'll probably use this thing as the thumbnail, because it definitely deserves to be that, because, like, you can see, oh my god. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, how are you? Pretty good at cheese. Good. Good at cheese, yeah. I'm looking for a red, I don't see- ah, there we go. A little less saturation, yeah, a little bit- yeah! <laughs> okay, and... I do... And then I do the... Obvious thing that needs to be done, so we go... Plus... So we have a new layer, and then I do this, which is yeah. <laughs> and then I save this one after putting them all down. Look at how freaking hilariously stupid this looks. <laughs> Save as... <laughs> Grab that. That'll be the thumbnail for that. And then I do this. By the way, how you doing? Pretty good. I grab this, I take out the back layers, and I save this thing as its own image. I'm also just going to do this so people can see it, because look at how freaking glorious that is. Oh my god. <laughs> so you go Craig, and you name it as Craig MS Paint Edition. 
Oh my goodness. This is this was a great episode, man. Like look at that. Look at that shiz. <laughs> this is how you make truly great art. <laughs> but yeah, either way guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, have a good noon. Stay trusty, my friends. And maybe subscribe if you if you feel it. Uh yeah. Cool beans. <laughs>